<laughs> the Don and Doyle show. <laughs> That's right. The Don and Doyle show. I like it. I like uh, it. Man, thanks so much for being here, Doyle. Oh, I love it, man. I've, I mean, especially to work with you because I watch you on YouTube all the time. My son and I do. Oh, my and gosh. I, I especially love the way you do demos and you explain it all well and you play the right stuff because you can play so many different <laughs> styles. And I, I play all different styles too. It just all comes out country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you've got more digits working than I do, man. You've got, you got both hands really flowing. Man, speaking of which, so you are obviously known for your finger style playing, and that, that's rooted in Merle Travis and Chet Atkins style, oh, yeah, yeah. right? But yes. there are differences between the two. Uh, you know, over, over the course of time, it kind of seems like they've sort of like melded together, but you know the distinct differences. I would love to hear your take on what's the difference between yeah. Merle Travis style versus Chet Atkins style. Well, you know, and, and uh, it's funny because I used to play guitar for Grandpa Jones. Mm -hmm. And years ago, he called me over and he said, get over here. Of course, he didn't have to say who he was. I just right. answered the phone, hello, well, yeah, get Grand over here. I was going to say Grandpa's <laughs> voice, you know exactly who it is. And so I went over to his house. He said, bring that big guitar with you. I had an L5 mm -hmm. uh, guitar back then. And, uh, and I'm running down, I'm driving down his driveway and I see this old white, uh, is a white Cadillac and it had license plate, Oklahoma. And it said 16 tons. And I'm telling you, Don, mm. it's like my stomach dropped to the floorboard. Oh, yeah. I thought Merle Travis, he didn't warn me. Merle yeah. Travis is here. And he spent all day. And he, and he it taught me some things. In fact, Grandpa, uh, he was not very good with the camera, but he, he kept taking, he, I got a Nikon camera. None of the photos turned out, not one. But he recorded us, and I still have the tape. Oh, and wow. and so I, you know, I put it on a, 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 a digitizer, put mm -hmm. it on a, a CD. Yeah. And in fact, Buck White's in the back. You can, he was building a deck over at Grandpa's house just before oh, they made yeah. it big. And, uh, but he spent all day with me and he told me, so was, you know, I'm, I'm more like a, a honky tonk player on now. I'm going to get my different thumb pick. This is a speed pick okay. and this is a, a slick pick. This is oh, a Fred okay. Kelly. And so this one has a little more mass to it. And, and uh, Travis used to like big body guitar. <laughs> And he said, I'm more like a honky-tonk uh, piano player mm -hmm. on a guitar. And, uh, and then later on, I heard Chet say, well, he was more like a stride piano player, like a gospel piano player. I thought, gospel piano, what does that mean? Your left hand doesn't know what your right hand's doing? That would be gospel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Ouch. I can forget that, folks. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're leaving that in. That's I've played stuff. that way before. <laughs> my left hand doesn't know what my right hand's doing. But uh, on Chet's style, his is like this, you know, like we talked about before, you know, with the, the Barry, uh, the Sailor lesson, because you have your one and five, and but, but Travis is more like this. Now, I can't play like uh, Travis did with his index finger. He just used his thumb and index finger primarily. Right, right. I did see him do a roll one time and put his mid middle finger in. No it was kidding. on a, a, I think it was Porter Wagner or something. I'm uh, like, <gasps> he uses middle, it is, you know, but, but typically he did not. It's yeah. just. Now here's Chip. Travis. Chet. Door. <laughs> this is Merle. But Merle had uh, just, even though it was like a little more raw, chill. Merle. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Man, that's you know, that's great because it's obvious a lot of the difference is in the attitude. Yeah, it you know? is. It's yeah. as much the the attack and the uh, um, and the subdivision and the fact that like like with the Travis thing, obviously he's you know he's laying down on the downbeat really hard, mm -hmm. you know, and Chet's a little more even, a little smoother, a little more elegant. Yeah, yeah. and uh, in his style and also mm -hmm. in his uh, ability to be able to arrange things. I mean, right. Chet was amazing. He right. got more into. <laughs> And uh, things like that that were more, right. you know, uh, even neoclassical kind of. Yeah, orchestral you know. in nature, mm -hmm. you know, where you had you had one line going one way, one line going the other. And mm -hmm. Travis was a little more static in terms of like mm -hmm. chord and melody, you know, kind of straight. And they're both great. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, listen to Merle Travis all day long, man. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Great stuff. I can't believe yeah. you got, a, I did not know that. I can't believe you got a lesson with him. That yeah, I did all day. And then, uh, of course, I spent some time with Chet. And I, yeah. uh, one time he called me over. And I went over to his office, and he's walking down the, the steps, and he had a, mm -hmm. a case in his hand. He said, I wonder what happened to you. And he said, I, I admire what you do in, in playing in churches, because I'll, I'll always play in churches. Mm -hmm. right. and, uh, and he said, I have something here. I think it'll uh, help you out a little bit. And he gave me one of his guitars. And I, of course, I still have it. Yeah. But it was it was the nylon string, because oh, he no thought it would be great you know, for playing. Because of the... And then when you go into because he asked me to play something for him. Jim Stafford and I are good friends. You know Jim. Yeah. Well, the, he had a guitar in his in his uh, office there that Jim had given him, and he said, "Play something, Doyle." And I went. He said, well, you're doing that backwards. And I said, and I want to go, and, what? And, you know, I learned <laughs> yeah, that from right, you. Right. And, uh, but it was the, uh, the, the tremolo mm -hmm. thing, you know, sure. where he, uh, most players would go, I can't do it that way. And, uh, I, and they do three, two, one, bass, yeah. three, two, one, right. bass, three, two, one. And I went bass, one, two, three. He said, well, you do it the opposite way. I said, yeah, I thought that's the way you did it. He said, no, but it works, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> works either way, right? So, yeah, those those are the kind of guys, whatever works yeah. for you. So. Yeah, exactly. But I did learn exactly. a lot from them. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Clearly, and learn a lot on your own, too, man. Nice playing. Great arrangements. Nice um, yeah, thank you so much, man, for, for explaining the difference between Chet and Merle. Oh, hey, that, it's man. my pleasure. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Thank well, a you. little bit more of this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Merle. <laughs> Thank you, Doyle. <laughs> Thanks, Doyle. <Don. laughs>